Hey everyone, it's me again. Uh, if you're new to the channel, my name is Corey. My wife's name is Raquel. We moved to the Philippines from Chicago. She was born and raised out here, um, originally from the States, of course. So I wanted to talk today about something that's really important to me, um, embracing the culture. And honestly, I think I just assumed that everyone that moved out here was doing that. And I came across something last week and it really bothered me. And it's definitely not the case. I mean, everyone is not adapting to the culture the way that you would really want to when you move to a foreign country. So when I say that, me and my wife went into the city last week, and I'll try to keep the beginning of this brief, but I have to get to the point. Um, we drove into the city, we pulled into a parking garage, and my wife had said something about the parking is gonna be free uh, with a receipt. Honestly, I didn't pay attention to her at all, not, not even a little bit. Uh, I saw a sign for a Dunkin' Donuts. I haven't had Munchkins or an iced coffee in six months, so I wasn't listening to her. It just went right over my head. Uh, security guard mentioned the same thing when we were parking, and again, I was, I was just nodding along. I figured it out, and I'm still staring at the, the Dunkin' Donuts sign. Uh, anyways, my fault though. So we park, we do our shopping, we get the stuff that we need, and then my wife says to me, do you wanna just pull in front of the uh, the complex and pick me up with all the bags? So then she's, you know, we're not dragging them through the mall and the parking garage and stuff. So I said, yeah, absolutely. So I went down to get the car, no big deal. I get in, I have my receipt, I pull out, and then the security guard explains to me that I needed to exchange my receipt that I purchased stuff for a parking receipt. No big deal. So he tells me where to go. I walk back into the mall. The uh, mall security guard was kind enough and he walked me right up to the customer service desk and explained to me the process. I thanked him, said salamat. As I'm walking up to the customer service desk, I notice a foreigner there. And I'm not gonna mention his country or his accent or anything because it's, it's really irrelevant. He's leaned over the counter and he's giving the girl an attitude. He had vulgar language he was using a few words that he should not have been and he was um you know saying some things about her accent because her english wasn't a hundred percent that right there really really bothered me to tell you the truth you don't go into someone else's country and complain about them not knowing your language a hundred percent that should never happen the fact that filipinos adapt to another language so well strictly for customer service is amazing i mean you have to spend a couple thousand hours to learn the english language and it amazes me at how many places on how many filipinos take the time to do that strictly to talk to foreigners coming into their country when you think about it and in the u.s that doesn't happen right we're not learning tons of other languages or any other languages so that when somebody comes in to us we can uh give them better customer service i've just never never heard of that so i have to commend the the Filipinos for going out of their way. His wife was standing next to him and I noticed that her arms are crossed, her eyes are a little watery and she was, you know, looking up to the left. She was clearly bothered by what was going on. So I didn't know what was going on, of course, I just walked up to the desk. So I, uh, I took my receipt from the mall because I needed a parking receipt, which I didn't have because I screwed up. And I looked at the customer service lady, there was two of them, he was arguing with one and I, said to her, oh, my apologies, I need a, a parking receipt. She said, oh, you know, good afternoon, sir, thank you. So I said, my own hapoon, out of respect in her language, and salamat, thank you. And she smiled, and she started to fill out the little receipt that I needed to get my car to the parking garage. And instantly the foreigner looks at me and says, so they blanked you on the parking too. And right away I was caught off guard. <laughs> I was like, excuse me? And he goes, they, they blanked you. I'm not gonna say the word, but you can figure it out on the parking. And I said, I, I don't understand what you mean. And I didn't understand what he meant. And then he starts talking about uh, the parking and he didn't have the right receipt and they were, you know, blanking him over on and he had to walk back into the mall. He was complaining about basically the same little problem that I had. So then the old version of me wanted to snap and put him into his place. I really wanted to do that, just to be honest with you. I held that part of me back because me and my wife woke up, we had a wonderful breakfast, we live in the most beautiful country I've ever seen, we are going to take care of our shopping, drive up the coast back to our house, have a nice lunch, and it was a gorgeous day. So me reacting negatively and acting hostile like he was, nothing good would come out of that, and I know that now. 
Um, I've known that since I've, I've moved here, that that would be pointless to have his attitude. So anyways, I just smiled and said, oh, um, that's not what's going on with me or what happened to me, but I hope you enjoy your day. And then she gave me my parking receipt and he looked at it and he said, well, what do you mean? What happened to you? And I said, well, I came to the Philippines. The Philippines didn't come to me. <laughs> so I, I have a little bit of dry sense of humor. So I wanted to make sure to entertain him very politely. And I said, I screwed up. I didn't know the policy. I didn't know I needed to exchange my receipt for a parking receipt. So I needed to walk back into the mall. The security guard was extremely helpful and nice. The second security guard going into the mall was helpful and nice. Both of them spoke English and they don't need to. And then the customer service representative is also helping me deal with this problem. And the fact is that this three or four minutes of put me out of my way is because I screwed up, right? At the end of the day, I was paying attention to a Dunkin' Donut sign, staring at munchkins, and I didn't read the sign, I didn't listen to the security guard, and then I parked the car and, and didn't get the right receipt. So this is 100% my fault, but yet all three Filipinos are going out of their way and being considerate to help me. And all of them have a smile on their face even though I screwed up. So me being in the Philippines, I'm thankful and glad to be here because of how kind and considerate these people are. And foreigners come in and they, they screw things up and they just smile and they try to help them out. I just have to be thankful for that. And I just smiled, of course, because I wanted to make sure he understood my opinion on the situation that he was in. And then he just looked down and kind of <laughs> looked to the right and didn't want to say anything. And then his, uh, his wife or girlfriend, I don't know what she was, was starting to somewhat smile. <laughs> um, and, and then she was looking more in his direction because I think she was a little happy that uh, another foreigner explained to him because the fact is, as a foreigner coming into the Philippines, it's not the Filipinos' jobs to follow me around with a stack of books making sure I know their policies, their laws, and their rules. It's not. I came to their country and all of them go out of their way to help us and to learn our language. I have to be thankful and grateful for that, not complain because I screwed something up that I didn't know about. So I was really shocked and disappointed at his attitude. And when I when I said this, he kind of, you know, it threw him back and he thought about it for a second because like I said, I mean, it's, it's not their job to follow around people with big noses and they're taller than 5'2 and say, hey, do you know the laws over here and explain it to us? It's our job to ask questions, right? If I don't understand something, it's my job to ask so that I can do it correctly. It's not their job to walk around making sure I'm doing everything right. So I was just very thrown off guard that he wasn't adapting to the culture at all. And because of it, it ruined his day. And I didn't want it to ruin my day because he wasn't adapting to the culture. It doesn't make any sense to me. It's just really important to me to take the time to understand the culture that you're in and embrace it. Because like I said, it, it's just amazing to me at how well Filipinos adapt to another language and how helpful they are to the foreigners coming into their country. And we need to give them as much courtesy as they give us and as much respect as they give us and not have a negative attitude because we don't understand something. It just, you know, really blows my mind that anyone would be upset about something like that. I mean, I just have to be thankful that, you know, I'm in someone else's country and they're going out of the way to help me when I'm screwing things up. And again, it was my fault and I was staring at munchkins on a poster. I wasn't going to let something like that ruin my day. Um, it stinks that he let him ruin his day and, you know, look like his wife's day as well. But either way, it's just something that we have to keep in mind. I mean, this is not our country. We're not going to move here and change the Philippines. The, the Philippines is going to change us. I had a subscriber say that and it made perfect sense because you're not going to change the culture here. I don't want to anyways, but the culture ends up changing you. And, and I mean that only in better ways. I mean, I deal with problems a lot better, like I said, because the old me would have definitely uh, 
snapped and reacted a lot harsher because of how he was talking to her, which I thought was just downright inappropriate. Um, but either way, I knew I was going to have an amazing afternoon with my wife, so me arguing and yelling at him would have just ruined my day as well, and I don't need to have that. I mean, why would I want to have a bad day when I'm walking around here? So, anyways, just again, wanted to talk about how the important it is to embrace the culture and not be upset about the things that you don't understand. You need to just ask questions about it. I mean, that's that's what we have to do as foreigners or expats being in someone else's country. We have to find out those laws and rules and regulations and things like that, not get upset with them because <laughs> we're doing it wrong. It just doesn't make any sense to me at all. So anyways, all right. Thank you for watching.